How y'all feel about um, the comment about uh, Belichick that was it Marlon? Oh, Marlon Humphrey. Yeah, that Marlon Humphrey made about Belichick. He was. I mean, basically, it was. I don't think he was. He was ill intent. I think it was just always. A, he was. He was ill intent, bro. Let me say why I don't think it was ill intent. I'm gonna say I don't think it's ill intent because Tom Brady had already jumped on air and had the conversation. You feel what I'm saying? Tom Brady had the conversation. You're talking about, about, you're talking about in terms of why Belichick didn't get another job. Yeah, like t- not not he didn't have a conversation about why Belichick didn't get a, another job. He talked about everybody, like even a former teammates was like, nah, like Edelman. He said we went to work, we played for Tom, but we went to work for Belichick. Yeah. Okay. Like you feel it's what I'm supposed saying? to be like that though. So it was just a little debate. Like it was it was just a debate with greats. Like, all right, um, was it the coach or was it Tom Brady or whatever like that? So when this came out, then he was just like, ah, let's just kill the let's I think he went about it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Like, but I think he was just saying, all right, let's just kill the debate that everybody been having. It was because of Tom Brady or whatever like that. Because he didn't get the and the reason for him saying that was because he didn't get the job. I think it was wrong. To even talk about a man not getting a job or whatever like that, because yeah. you know that's a sensitive time. Like, but I mean, I mean, I think, but like I understand what he was saying though. Like I understand what he was saying. He just should have said it a different way. He should have made it clear that he was talking about the debate or whatever like that. He shouldn't okay. even said nothing about getting fired. Yeah. He should have just said his his cue. Like, all right, if if Belichick doesn't get a job, does this mean? And then just open discussion if he wanted to have that. Yeah, he was just too like straightforward and blunt with the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but he do that a lot on social. That's I appreciate. His, I, appreciate I, I appreciate the bluntness though. Don't don't yeah, don't, don't throw the rock and hide your hand. But yeah, I mean, but I think you got it. I do in that. And to your point, speed on that, it should have been an open ended topic. Yeah, it I think. It should have been something that everybody sure. could have their opinion That's on. That's not what like, he was saying, saying, though. I think you putting more sauce on it than he ever said. He just basically, that was his chance to come in and say, because he said that before. That's not the first time he yeah. didn't pretty much question the greatness of the But that was Bill in the middle Belichick. of the debate. But my only yeah. thing about it is, is, it's like you said, it's so much nuances to making a Super Bowl. You don't just hire Bill Belichick. Like, that's a different situation. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just like. How are you looking at that, though? Because it's just a lot that comes with him. Like, you get what I'm saying? There's a lot of... Right. He is going to ch- completely rechange the, the your culture whole, your and, the, and the way that your, your organization is run. A yes. lot of people aren't ready for that. Or okay. looking for that. A lot of people are looking to hire a head coach. They're not looking to hire somebody that's going to work directly with the owner, basically kick out the GM. Be, he going to be head coach, GM... Uh, defensive coordinator, like everybody, think, not looking for that. I think that needs to be specified. Then, what I, you mean? I honestly, think that needs to be specified. Is in terms of Bill Belichick, is it be? And I, obviously, in a perfect world, but you would like to see or have more understanding of why Belichick is not being hired more so than him just being put into the into the pool of coaches that just don't get fired. Why do you need that explanation, though? That's what I'm trying to say. Hear me out. Hear hear what I'm saying to you. And this goes to what Speed's point was talking about, which is why I agree with him. In terms of, was it Tom Brady? Yes. But Tom Brady didn't start the Patriot way. No. Belichick was one of the... the, He actually benefited from it for the first few years. Nobody wanted to talk about that. that, I'm saying he's the cornerstone of that. Yeah, he's the best example for it. Right. So what I'm saying to you is that when you have a guy like Bill Belichick that's just not getting a job, it's like, it ain't like Belichick just ain't getting hired. Like, he's not getting hired because... He is that much of a savant, that much of yeah, a. It's, it's, it's the same. It's the same thing as like why every team in the league, as much as it sounds like it would make sense, every team in the NBA don't want LeBron on their team because it's a lot that come with that. That's true. LeBron coming, he needs input on a whole lot of shit. Yeah. He gonna do a whole lot of different things. You might not, as a coach, y'all might not be ready for that. Like, y'all might not be looking for that. Like, that might not be what y'all trying to build towards. Now, while there may be a a, a, a number, it's just like anything. I, 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 what I think people don't really understand about the NFL, and I think Speed, me and Speed and talk about this before, like, best example is free agency, bro. When you're going into free agency, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, all the, everybody that's out there going to free agency, uh, first of all, shout out to y'all. Good luck. Get paid. Don't 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 uh omit a penny, nigga. Go for it. Yeah, you know <laughs> if you gotta bet on yourself, bet on yourself. That, you know what I mean? That's the side I'm on. But speed, keep it p, keep it p. You go on the fridge, you like right around this time. You know, combine coming up. That's when mm-hmm. a lot of shit going on. You know, around this time, you meet with your agent. Y'all looking at y'all numbers. 
Look, man, you know, look, they they putting you in this pool. You you kind of these are some comparables. This is what a guy who had your production. This is what he got paid last year by so and so and so forth. Okay. All right, back cool. Oh yeah, you said that's how many a year? Ooh, that, that eight, nigga, fuck, nigga. Where that year is at? <laughs> hey, speed. Hey, come, put uh, put so on the uh. <laughs> hey, Mula. What, yeah, uh, Mula, what you yeah. got the you got the new uh? <laughs> no, I want the big boys. <laughs> yeah, no, boys. not the little ones. Yeah, yeah go to the back. Did oh, you yeah, walk to the yeah. back? And, and look, it's, I know you it's, ain't at that case. Spit shine my shit <laughs> too. <laughs> I, ain't, I want my shit to sparkle. I got I like that case. Gucci Mane in the club. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, stay on, stay locked in. <laughs> so man. look, that's how I feel. Oh, then you look. I'm telling you, you go to free agency. You like, oh look, what? Oh, they, they need a linebacker. Oh yeah, they need a linebacker. Oh, they got two all pros. No, no, they don't, they don't need no linebacker. <laughs> they don't need no linebacker. All right. Down, they need a linebacker. All right, cool. You be like, damn, it's a, look, it's about 14 teams that need a linebacker. Like, damn, like, I fit the scheme about seven of these niggas. I'm okay. cool with like three or four of these head coaches. That is lit. Speed, what happened? You get the free agency? What? Three teams. I'll call you. Hold three. on. Three. And one of them niggas wants you to play special teams. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh buddy. Oh. That shit a rap. <laughs> Did that for four years, dog. Hold on, dog. Bro. Yeah, some of these, some of these. <laughs> see, on, yeah, guys. look, man. Yeah, look, I saw that you had this type of production, but yeah, honestly, I only yeah. see you as a special teamer. Yeah, <laughs> well, they shit on you. Well, I don't see you at all. How about that? <laughs> That's really crazy. I'm, it's just you but think I, you would think, yeah, or it's they your agent hitting you. You like, hold on, let me talk to him. Nah, let me. <laughs> right. nah, let me. Look, I'm telling you, you go to free agency and you think like, all right, bet cool. Like you think it's like uh, recruiting again. Like you know what I'm saying? You got some teams going to offer. You got some teams that's going to recruit you. You think it's shit like like mad and you going to go there and just be able to pick a bunch of teams. But the reality is, bro, it's probably like, bro, I ain't going to lie to you too. Like, even talking to, uh, shout out to Drew, shout out to Rosenhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I was dealing with talking with him, he, he even gave me a little insight to even Tyreek's situation. Tyreek Hill, one of the best players that ever played this game, the most explosive weapon in the NFL. Yeah. He only had a market of two teams outside yeah. of Kansas City. Yeah. It's a lot that come with having Tyreek on your team. You bring him on, he's got to be the highest played weapon in the league. Everybody can't do that. I hear you. I Everybody hate you. also I don't got you, the man. offensive structure with the capabilities and the to mentality have. to be able to use Tyreek. You want to use- yeah. pay a nigga, nigga $30 million a year? And, and, and you know, and look, Tyreek come in, Cheetah, he right. bring a lot of shit with him. That's a lot of that's a lot of entertainment. That's a lot of, you know what I mean? He bring a lot, but th- that's why some of it, you feel me? You know, he got a lot of off the field stuff like, Positive stuff like yeah, yeah, no, no. podcasts yeah, 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 yeah. and, and, and I, we ain't talking about none of the other shit. Yeah. But at the same time, he he bringing a different mentality. You got to be a have a locker room that's capable of dealing with that, or mm-hmm. organization that's capable of dealing with that. Just because there's necessarily openness, don't mean that opening is specifically for you or I, for that situation. Understand that the two examples that you gave that you gave to me, which are one great examples in terms of Belichick, the narrative for those two are exactly what you're saying. For Belichick, it's not that. But it's that he's not getting hired. But that's but understand something though. That's because people hate greatness. But nah, no, 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 no. It I is. I can't let it, you. No, I can't people, let you. People, let you people hate I can't let greatness, you bro. Trust me, people. People have been waiting the whole time just to see Belichick fail. But I'm not mad at that. He was okay. a super villain in the league for a long, long time. time. You you can't wait for Lex Luthor to run think, out of money. I just think, you I just, know what I'm saying? I just okay. think with Belichick whole situation. It's a new generation, bro. It goes the same way with the Nick Saban thing. Like when Nick Saban retired. And I, I don't know why Nick Saban retired, so don't quote me on why he retired. But I feel like the generation is just a new generation, a way of, 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 of what, the, what the game is shifting towards. That's understood. You feel what I'm saying? And it has nothing to do with him not having success after, after, uh, after Tom Brady. Or right. whatever like that. I don't think it has nothing to do with that. I don't think they was like, oh, maybe it was Tom Brady the whole time. We should get rid of Belichick. I don't think that was the that was the case. Because actually Trent Trent Brown, um, he played left tackle out there and he speak highly of Belichick. A yeah. lot of, a lot of people, people do, do. He speak highly a lot of, Belichick, of people do. bro. And he think that he like he he actually he had options. He went back to New England. His yeah. whole like, staff bro. is full of former players. So yeah. people come back and work for Bill. And so like him, as much as people hate that shit, there's a lot so, of people that love it. And I, I just think his way, his way of his of coaching just it just the Patriots was like, look, bro, we just we they, they needed a new culture. Yeah, it we have been there a long time. Like, but cool. to your point, bro, people can't wait to see successful people fail, bro. But that That's culture don't is, match. Bro. That culture don't match a lot of teams, bro. Yeah, but no. The, what Belichick brings, like, that's why Belichick was in New England for so long. Yeah. Like, you feel what yeah. I'm saying? Because New England bought into that culture and they had success. They won Super Bowls with it. Yeah. But you feel what I'm saying? I just think, to your, uh, like I said, I'm a, I agree with y'all 100%. All I'm saying to you is, is that, I believe that the narrative around 
why Bill Belichick is is or isn't getting hired, it's not being talked about. Like it's just it's almost like I say, like Belichick is he's I feel like he's just being talked about as he's in the position of a first year guy trying to trying to uh, apply. Oh, uh, so to you get think they lowball? You think they 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 like they talking? Not, like he not Belichick. Yeah, like they're not even talking about, hey, look, we're not hiring Belichick because of like we talk well, about with because LeBron of the narrative. And, and, Ty, and with Tyreek. Because of the narrative. That's what I'm saying. What you mean though? Well, when like you just explained with LeBron and Tariq. Like it's like, bro, Bron can't go to woom 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 because of this. Like, but and, it's teams and, that's gonna take Bron. Right. That's what I'm He's saying. saying to you. It's teams that's gonna take Bron. It's teams that's if Tyreek went to you right now, it's teams that's gonna take Tyreek yeah. regardless. He's saying it's not the same with Belichick. He's saying like it's teams that won't even touch Belichick. Why is that? Like right, and they're not. And the narrative isn't coming out of like, hey, you know what? Bill is a great coach, but we cannot allow that type of situation to happen in our organization. Bro, I would say I would say it like this. Imagine it's more like a. It's just I would say it's just a changing of general philosophy. Like all the head coaches okay. getting hired now mm-hmm. are young. Every okay. year we see, yeah, oh, is. the youngest head coach since the these, these guys are all 37, 38, 39. Like Belichick is in his 70s, bro. Like you get what I'm saying? Like I get you're that. not going out. Like a lot of people, like they looking for new blood, new energy to deal with the new league. Like you get what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like, again, that's something that comes with hiring somebody like Belichick. So I feel like we pretty much saying the same thing. I just think like, why you feel like the narrative or why the narrative may not be like trending in the in the, uh the fanfare around Belichick not getting hired might not be as big, but I'm just telling you as internally, it's because people understand that hiring a great like Belichick comes with a lot of shit. And a lot of people just not in that position more like to address it. Yeah, and then especially okay. in a situation like that, like and even and, and what people really don't understand is Belichick might have turned down a job. They don't never tell you that though. Yeah, fact. They don't never tell you because it's not like he didn't have interviews. Yeah. He had interviews. He did have interviews. So like you never know how that went. He might have turned down interviews, might have turned down jobs because when you got six rings and the credibility that he got, you could pick and choose your shot. And he might feel like he might not have a shot that's worthy of him taking. So why is so I'm, I'm about to ask the question I think Tim was asking. We got to let Zay go, man. We, on, we went on. over here pod. We got to so, let Zay go. So why, why is it that, like, the media, like, ESPN, everybody is saying, like, why doesn't Belichick, like, why they not fending for Belichick? Like, why Thank they not, you. like, because why people hate Belichick greatness. That's but why that's not a part of that, though. That's not a part of that. That's not a part of that. Bro, LeBron James. And people hate, hate LeBron. LeBron. But they give him the narrative. What of narrative? He, he, they give him the narrative yeah, that, that he LeBron. has a lot that comes with him. Not that oh we just don't want LeBron. They're they're not LeBron, even giving Belichick. Look, bro, th- they did the same thing to Tom Brady. People always forget history. When Tom Brady got picked, when he went to free agency again, Tom Brady, the greatest player, the greatest player too, because I stand on that, the greatest number one. Okay, of our of, uh, of the game of our when he went to free agency, his market was only like two two teams. San Fran told him we don't want you. Period. Outright. Right. Right, they chose Jimmy Garoppolo over Tom Brady. But they, uh, but the narrative from the like Speed's talking about with the media is What's that, that? Y'all, it's, uh, y'all tripping, like everybody tripping. Why is Tom Brady not have a job? Why is this and that? And that? it was tripping. because Brady, like you said, nobody saying that is a general. No, I don't, I don't agree. There were people at that time that was looking. Oh man, Brady's arm strength is dwindling. Uh, he hasn't thrown for 4,000 or, if, you know, whatever number in this fact. amount of time. At that mm-hmm. time, it's so easy to look back and say, yeah, he went to Tampa, turned him right the fuck up, won the Super Bowl, got on Mahomes' ass, won the Super Bowl at home. Like, he, it's so mm-hmm. easy to look back and, and, and give credit and clap our hands and say, yeah, that was a great move at the time. But guess mm-hmm. what? He was in free agency looking for a job. He wanted to, I ain't going to do that. We already been beating up the Colts fans already, so we ain't going to yeah, do, do that. But, bro, he wanted to come to places, and, and they didn't want him. I understand. Straight up, so like we ain't going, so we ain't going to do that. Like again, he had a, a, also another. Like Tom was a great player, so he got a chance to pick his shot. But when you go to in the, in the open market, bro, I know what it looked like, and I know what it meant motherfuckers might think. But at the end of the day, bro, a lot of shit don't line up, bro. When you get there, and you got to take, you got to take the, you got to love the people that love you. And when you get out the outside, everybody don't love you, bro. And that's just the reality of the situation. That's a reality. I yeah. got you. All right.